Good morning, everybody. Everyone in my house is still sleeping, and I'm looking for a little time to squeeze in a video. It's been a very busy two weeks uh, starting a new job. Anyway, this morning, as I read my scriptures for the day and have coffee, I thought that I would um, have you with me. <laughs> Uh, there's a YouTuber I like to watch. His name is Daniel, and I get a, a big kick out of Daniel. He doesn't edit his videos, and the other day he was trying to film outside because he lives in a beautiful part of Alaska, and he was trying to juggle his computer and an umbrella, <laughs> and he dropped his computer, and <laughs> he just kept filming. <laughs> And he said, you know, you're looking at the real deal here. I, I don't do any editing. This What you see is what you get. So this morning, what you see is what you get. This morning I was reading uh, the scriptures and the gospel for today is from Matthew. And it's about forgiveness. G Peter goes to Jesus and he says, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive? As many as seven times. And Jesus answered him, I say to you, not seven times, but 77 times. And Jesus goes on to tell a parable. Anyway. In the Bible, the number seven stands for perfection. So when Jesus says seven times, 70 times, um, he means we are to forgive all the time. <laughs> if you've ever had anything really traumatic happen to you at the hands of someone else, you know that forgiveness can be extremely difficult. Uh, for the longest time, I had trouble with forgiveness, and I knew that it was something that the Father was calling me to do. Um, and then I had kind of a turning point. This woman named Immaculee, who survived the Rwandan genocide in the 1990s, came to St. Joseph's Abbey to give a retreat, and her talk was all about forgiveness. Now, she and several other Tutsi women, she was of the Tutsi tribe, were protected or sheltered or hidden in this um, three foot by four foot bathroom in a pastor's house down the road. He had two bathrooms and all of the other houses in the village had one. He slid a wardrobe in front of the bathroom door where these women were hidden. And so when the killers would come to search the houses, they wouldn't think to look for a second bathroom. Anyway, she and the other women were crammed really tightly in this bathroom um, for well over a month. And they developed kind of like a, a sign language to talk to each other because they had to be silent. Um, they could only flush the toilet when the other toilet was being flushed. Um, they waited for the pastor's kids to go to sleep so that he could slip a plate of leftovers or, or stuff that his kids didn't eat in the bathroom. Conditions were horrible. Anyway, Immaculate says that she would pray all day, like from sun up to sundown, and she would often pray the rosary that her father had given her right before she went into hiding. And anyway, she was uh, blessed through prayer to make it through this terrible time of trial and to make it out of the bathroom once the uh, killings had stopped. Once she got out of the bathroom, she discovered that her entire family, with the exception of one brother who was out of the country at college, had been viciously massacred. 
I'm talking, they went through the streets with guns, but also machetes. So brutal, brutal, horrible deaths. And um, of course, she was extremely grief stricken and she was angry at these people who had done this to her family. And um, she went through a process of, of grief and, and anger and then um, finally acceptance. But with God's help, she took it a step further. She was able, through the grace of God, to forgive the people who had done this to her family. She even went to visit one of her family members' killers to extend to him um, the power and the grace of forgiveness. Now, they didn't wind up being best friends <laughs> or even friends. Um, but she clearly illustrated that forgiveness is freedom. It is freedom, friends. It really, really is. It um, releases you from all the things that um, hurt you, that hold you back. And, um, you know, it also releases the other person. Anyway... This was huge for me, huge for me, because after hearing her story and reading her book called Left to Tell, if you haven't read it, Left to Tell, by Immaculee Illabagaiza, I don't, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, it's very popular. It's been through many uh, Catholic and Christian uh, circles. Very powerful story. After hearing her story, I thought, if she can forgive the people who brutally murdered her family members and then travel around the world telling everyone about the goodness of God, how good the Lord is, and the power of forgiveness, I thought, I don't have any excuses. I've got to stop, stop making excuses. I see that I'm beginning to lag, so I pause the video and I'm hoping to be able to wrap it up before it starts acting up again. Anyway, um, this was a defining moment for me, a turning point, and I knew that I must forgive. If she could forgive, then I must forgive. But it was still such a big wound, so I had to ask the Lord, Lord, I know that you want me to forgive as you forgive me, um, but I'm going to need your help. And I asked the Lord to give me the grace and to help me to forgive, and guess what? He did. He did. It wasn't overnight. It was over time, but... He helped me to forgive when I was unable to forgive. So I encourage you today, if there's anything holding you back from forgiveness, remember that forgiveness is freedom. Remember that God calls us to forgive. He wants us to live in that freedom. And if you're having difficulty, ask him to help you. And he will. He will. And if you haven't read the book, it left to tell, you need to read it. <laughs> All right. Thank you for having coffee with me this morning. Let us uh, conclude with our prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord Jesus, we ask you to help us forgive as you forgive us. And we trust in your mercy and in your most sacred heart. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. If you liked this video and if you feel others could benefit from this message, then please be sure to like, to share, and to subscribe. Thank you. You all have a blessed day.